Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AG1. Now this is a super easy nutritional drink. You make it a ritual, you take it every morning. And let me tell you, it'll change your day. 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients in this pack of AG1. Drink it before you go to work and it'll make a difference. For me, it's all about energy in the afternoon when I get in that dip where I'm bogging down. AG1 provides that boost, gets me through my day so easily. And let me tell you how you do it. You just rip open the old travel pack here. Come on down to your AG1 cup. You know, you need something good to mix it. So we're gonna use this 700 horsepower Raptor R. Don't recommend going over 50 miles an hour. It might get a little off balance. Pour it on in there. Yeah, that should do right about there. And you wanna do a nice smoky burnout to really mix up your AG1. Okay, there may be some residual shaking you need to do. Throw it back, get a nice sip. Now, many nutritional drinks can be terrifying to drink, but I think you guys will like the taste of AG1. Especially once you drink it for a week, you'll actually look forward to drinking it in the morning. Guys, all you gotta do is visit athleticgreens.com slash Cletus. And if you guys do use my link, you'll get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and K and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Check out the link in the description below. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Is it empty? It feels empty. <laughs> Woo! Hold on, brother. Hold on. <laughs> oh, brethren. Don't go through. Oh. Careful now. I know, I know. Is this box expensive? This is, this is the most expensive box in the history of boxes I've ever touched or been around. What about that one time you bought that mystery box off of eBay? <laughs> it did not cost this much. <laughs> right, hold on, dude. We got a bunch oh. of okay. Guys, what you will see here is S M. Say it. Say it. X. X. Okay. Extreme. Stand by, James. Stand by. This guy's fired up. About a year ago, I pulled the trigger on a Steve Morris big block for Mullet. We went from rebuilding our engine basically weekly from either a tweaked rod or a bad head gasket to a very reliable big block. And when we got the big block from Steve, he said, hey, this thing's good for about 3000 horsepower, 40 pounds of boost is the max I think you guys should run or it's gonna break. Well, as the year progressed, we got up to that 40 pounds of boost. And as you guys saw, we threw two rods out the side of it, even after it got refreshed because we were running 50 pounds of boost. After the engine blew, you know, I spent a lot of time thinking, what do we do? Where do we go from here? We've already been 647, is that our record? Yeah, I think it's yeah. 647. 647 at 224, one World Cup, one FL2K, won all these races, and now it's like, are we gonna stay capped at 647? Because if you look at the data log from that run, we're basically running 500 more horsepower than what Steve says the engine's good for the whole run. So it's just not sustainable. And for us and you guys, how do we grow from there? So the engine blew, we spent a lot of time thinking about it, a lot of time on the phone with Steve. He's like, there's only one option, brother. It's the SMX. This is the top dog engine from Steve Morris. You don't, you don't go up from here. This is a pro mod engine that is designed for the street. It is 100% billet aluminum <laughs> and it, this is, a 5,000 horsepower engine. This engine right here is capable of pulling mullet into the five second range. And that will be our goal with this engine. So <laughs> saying it out loud sounds crazy, <laughs> but there's a catch. This is actually Steve's engine out of his wagon. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, you guys probably wanna see the engine, but him and I made a deal that if he pulled this engine out of his wagon, and refreshed it and got it here in a week's time, which is what he did, that we would get him to 400,000 subscribers. So our goal is to get Steve Morris engines on YouTube to 400,000 subs, which he has 207,000 right now. So all you guys have to do is go over and subscribe to his channel. Not only was that convincing for him to do this, but if we hit 400,000 subscribers on Steve's channel within seven days from this video being posted, he's not going 
to charge me for the upgrade. <laughs> so, this, so this is a big, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys. Basically I had a spare big block, the same engine that was in that car last year. And that it's very expensive engine. And he was like, listen, I'll keep that engine that's already 100% paid for. So it's not gonna be in this engine for free, but I'm getting it for a hefty discount. And then also keep in mind that this is a scratch and dent special. This block has had rods through the side of it, been welded back together and was driven down the road in a bunch of events in Steve's car. But hey, should be good to go for us. So let's pop this old scratch and dent special SMX ride open. This is a big moment. This right is a now, big bud. moment. This is a big yeah, moment. You took forever to say that. I'm sweating. I'm sweating, dude. I'm sorry. I had to get all that information. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh. All right. All right. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, he's You're killing me. He's killing me. Oh, dang. Oh, there ain't nothing in there. Oh. This guy. All right. Ready? Oh, big reveal. Here we go. One. Another Two. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Three. Sheesh. Oh my lanta. Holy smokes. Small. Look at the size of the cylinder head. Golly. Brother, I've never seen one of these outside of a car. <laughs> That's a lot of billet, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are they so big yet at a fifth point on his uh, motor stand, look at that thing off the front. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Freshly welded. Are these all the water ports right yeah. here? That's so we got a we got to pump water through the head there, and then do we pump it through the block right here? Holy crap! Ins and outs everywhere. All right, let's take this box apart. Let's get this thing out. That's a bad unit. Look at this. That's billet. a bad unit right look there, boys. Look at those. Dude, they got this thing freaking built in there. It's like a jail for this engine. Could have shipped the rips off this thing. <laughs> Definitely some rips off funds going into this puppy. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so Steve had some custom valve covers and intake on his, obviously. He took that off, you know, gave us an OG SMX black intake and some SMX valve covers. What do we got here? Is this a Sharpie? <laughs> That's custom. That's custom right there. Well, it even smears a little bit. Definitely. <laughs> Crap. Look at the Dude, fuel that's rail. That's exactly the thing. It's gigantic. <laughs> what size is this? One inch rails. One inch rails. Oof. And then we have to run Ooh, two of the big dog injectors that we've been running out per cylinder. Three so, injectors are already in the bottom. Yeah, those are Dude, our injectors in the bottom. These are so much easier to service. Yeah, There's so much massive. more room. Crazy thing about this engine is it's just not, it's not a manufacturer engine. Steve fully designed this engine as his own. It's just a pro mod engine with water jackets so you can street drive. I mean, this thing, this is designed for exactly what we're doing. This is not a big block that was then further designed to be a race engine. This is just a race engine. It's not a big block, it's not a Hemi. It's kind of a combination of all the best things from the best engines all over the world. Down here, we got your dry sump. So we'll have dry sump oil system. We've always had a wet sump. That's some of the problems that we had with the old setup. On diesel with the parachutes out, mullet would lose oil pressure because all the oil would go to the front of the pan and I would just turn the car off. It was kind of not the ideal way to do it. We'll have a cam driven fuel pump now. It's a 572 cubic inch. Holy crap. I don't even know what size. How much horses does this thing make? NA? I don't know, over a thousand NA probably. Definitely. You know, the old engine, he said 40 pounds of boost was the max. He told me around 70 <laughs> is, is where we're going to have to chill out. And I don't think our turbos even make it there. And we have twin 94s. I think we'll need. Gates closed. We're good. <laughs> I mean, what size turbos would realistically get to 5,000 horsepower? Dude, look at the size of the blocks. Some 106s. <laughs> Come on, it's aluminum. It can't be that heavy. One, two, three. Nice Woo! job, boys. That's a lot of horse torques right there. About horse torque my back out. Yeah. Boy, look at all them Allen bolts you're gonna rattle loose on that lock. Oh, look at that, dude. Holy crap. What are all those? That's to access all the water ports. That's how they machine the water all jacket. the water jackets out. Oh, and then they seal it up? Yeah. What the hell, dude? This is insane. The old scratch and dance special. <laughs> Best scratch and dent special I've ever seen. Oh, we got O-ring uh, header flanges. Mm -hmm. Nice. O-ring valve cover gaskets. 
Really? Nice. Well, guys, this is going to be crazy. I mean, we're basically at the point where we committed all the way. No turning back. <laughs> we, we, have, we can't turn back now. So Steve got us this, obviously, in the fastest time possible of all time. Like, you can't get an engine this fast. And that's because he pulled it out of his personal car. So sure, he'll build himself a brand new freshie, but it just worked out that uh, he was taking his car apart. I was like, hey, what do you think about the old scratch and dent <laughs> sending me that unit? He's like, dude, that could work. So now we just have one week to get it ready for TX2K. We got to shove it in mullet, which we've already been preparing if you want to take a gander up here. We got to dry some tank up there. You know, we got the turbos off, but it's coming... It's coming together. It's gonna to be here quickly. End of the story is we freaking pulled the trigger on the big dog engine. And all we need is you guys to go subscribe to Steve Morris Engines to try and help us out on the bill. This was obviously a big, big move. A lot of money to spend on an engine, but hey, how could we stop here? We gotta do what we gotta do. So what we're gonna start working on right now is putting this thing in the car. Steve said it'll fit in between our mid plate and motor plate, but from there, Ty's got a ton of fabricating to do. We gotta do headers. <laughs> we gotta redo the, the whole turbo kit basically besides where the turbos are mounted. Zach's got wiring to do. James has a lot of plumbing to do. If you take a gander up here. James, what's the count on how many lines you're gonna have to make there? It's probably 25 to 30 <laughs> new lines. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there's just a minimum amount of work we have to be ready in seven days from the moment you're seeing this video. TX2K, we will be there. Freedom on three, one, two, three, freedom! freedom. While they get ready, Sam, you start polishing. <laughs> we'll slap it. this thing in We're the car right. and it'll be running in a few days. All right, but before this video ends, we got some action over at the Freedom Factory. Claim your bus. <laughs> George, I got you a bus. Can you tell which one it is? <laughs> uh-uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what bus do you guys want? Do we get a pick? Oh, like, fleet. do you guys get to pick any of those? I don't know, we should probably ask before we just go paint buses. I mean, we know which one's mine, old trusty. I mean, like <laughs> you Jay say trusty or crusty? <laughs> yeah, Jage is here to claim a bus. Ah, uh -uh, Bob. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're filming over here. We're filming here. You, you ain't cherry picking buses you know, over here, Bob. Get Guys, the Tour of Destruction event starts today at the Freedom Factory. Tonight at 8 p.m. you can watch live on Clear Vision. Or you can come to the track in person at the Freedom Factory. we got plenty of tickets for sale. Get some tickets on thefo.com and either go to the track at the Freedom Factory tonight or tomorrow night or watch on Clear Vision. we got some big stunts coming for you guys. Tour of Destruction tonight and tomorrow, March 10th and 11th. Don't miss it. Oh, oh nice. Get in! <laughs> Looks like a workout. Lightweight, dude. Hey, this one runs way better than the last one. Hey, does it top light even work? What do you think, bub? Mine's about to run a lot better with the little Is this parts. one yours? Apparently, I've taken it to my shop oh. and do some stuff you to it. You gotta change that flat tire for me, buddy. So, You're not... You wanna run it right now or what? Ooh. Dude, I'll run it right now. You got a helmet? We'll find it. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, let's have a little, one, dude. Let's have a little <laughs> pre race rip right Figure here. eight style? Yeah, probably should. I think right. we should just wait, get no, used wait, to okay, it. We'll wait till that. Wait, no till figure that. eight. No figure eight. Standard oval. Five okay. laps. Wait, does my bus have a seat eight. in it? Let me see. Still got a seat. Is it bolted in? Yeah. Bolted bolt in. in. It's kind of swept out. Runs like a top. You hear that? That's what sounds rough. Good thing I knew bad. Oh. You see that? 3800 4444E. That's yep. 3800 horsepower. Gotta get the paint, paint shot. Go in there. Wait till I cut the wires on that switch. <laughs> Classic. Alright, let's go pick one out for Jack Stan real quick. This mug just... <laughs> Buddy! What? I love how it's off and everything's so squeaky. Jack stand right here. Oh, it's a 93, dude. It's younger than us. I'm younger than me, buddy. <laughs> Damn, dude. This thing's a rig, dude. Oh, you got the old manual door. Get out of my bus! <laughs> the old manual door. Scariest oh, bus driver hammer. ever. Oh, real nice, bud. Nice. Real nice. Nice. 
Don't need that where we're going. What the hell did you <laughs> Imagine do? it's stuck. This doesn't sound good. I think there's a wires. sensor you just... Right when you hit that, it started chirping. That's Wiggle the wires on that little sensor there. Hey, here, I know what to do. Here, just take these and just start there cutting goes. all the wires. There you go. We got it. Have you never driven a bus before? Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, come on, dude. Why we got the raggedy one? This thing and sounds And a tool. Sick. Dude, I got a hammer, a tool. Whoa. Dude, All this right. thing sounds freaking bad to the bone. Tuned up, dude. Here we go. First bus out on the track. Oh, the power is back. with a very bad start. Oh, the jump from Jim. Hey, <laughs> Oh, shikies. <laughs> I don't think he lives in the whole turn. Oh, I got J.H. I believe we have Jack Stan in first place right now. Can't even tell. That's why they put these sliders. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh look, 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 look! <laughs> nice! All right, finished products. Nice little five minute job there. Watch out, Jackson. I'm trying to get a shot of my freaking sick paint job. Freedom Factory with the Nitto logo. <laughs> and then we got the Cool Bus. No, okay. Capital K, boy, read it. Wow, dude. Yeah. Capital K. Like an X, though, my boy Georgie. <laughs> I was upside down and I did it. Oh, let's see the front. And what happened about you know, putting a number on it? You guys decided just to yeah. not run a number? You know what number it is because it'll be in the front. Yeah. Oh, well, that was pretty good. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, we only got four teeth done, and then you needed the white. Nice. So we got huh? the most important teeth done right here. We got the gold teeth. Ah, the gold tooth. Nice. Looks good, boys. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, our buses are ready to rip.